Hey guys, the Super View here for another why you should watch video. This is a why you should video watch, and basically, what I do in this show basically is what I do. That I do this. I talk about movies or TV shows that I think deserve more attention, and or they're just that good, and you should check them out no matter what. TV series, movies, whatever. Uh, I do why you should listen to for sh music and whatnot. That's a separate video channel, a pl playlist that I have. But I want to talk today about the Man with No Name. This trilogy of films from the 60s, and the third one is regarded as one of the greatest films of all time. I'm talking about this trilogy right here, the Clint Eastwood's The Man With No Name trilogy. Take a look at that. One of the best Western films ever was The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. But, and it was the third film in the franchise. Let's not forget everyone. Everyone talks about, oh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly this, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly that. Well, there's two more films in front of it. A Fistful of Dollars and a, for a few dollars more. Three incredible films. Like, everyone talks about The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. They always talk about, oh, it's such a great movie. Clint Eastwood's incredible role. Clint Eastwood, you are awesome in that. Phenomenal job. A Fistful of Dollars and a few dollars more kind of get taken out of the picture because they're just not well known. So I am wanting to shed some light today on talking about, like, this whole trilogy. I have seen all three of these movies. Right here. The good, a, a Fistful of Dollars. Uh, a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. They sit in the bottom right there. You see that? Anyways, my hand's shaking. I don't know why. Uh, I love this trilogy. I have seen all three films. Plug for our movie commentary we did for The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. As we watched that movie, I think in 2018, I think, on our YouTube channel. Uh, we did a movie commentary on that movie in particular. and It was my first time viewing it, and I was floored by it. It was such a great movie. But... A Fistful of Dollars and For a Few Dollars More are two other movies that happened before The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And when you think about Westerns, you, you think about The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, of course. But if you, A Fistful of Dollars and For a Few Dollars More, people forget about them. And it's a damn shame because those films are really solid films. Sergio Leone did an incredible job directing these three films. I mean, it says in the back here, Quentin Tarantino has called... The, the best directed movie of all time, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. These, this is the, obviously the Blu-ray copy of that trilogy. Yes, it's a Blu-ray copy. Deal with it. Whatever. Street, are those streamings everything? God forbid streaming fails. You have Blu-ray copies. Just saying. Um, I love that trilogy. I love that trilogy so much. It is truly a, a great Western uh, film series. It has stood the test of time as one of them. I love these films. I mean... The, the good, the bad, the ugly side, a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more are still are two stone cold classic films. Um, but like I said, they get forgotten about because of the good, the bad, and the ugly is so iconic. The, the, the poster, the, the score by Ir Irino, I forget his name. Um, Marconi, I think I tell you his name. I'm probably butchering his name, for whatever. But the score is great. The casting is great. These movies are long movies. The first two are like two and two hours, two hours, two hours, and then the third, the, the good, the bad, the ugly is three hours and like three minutes long. It's a long movie, guys. But we did a movie commentary on it. Check it out. Um, Clint Eastwood, though, as an actor back then in the '60s, phenomenal guy, phenomenal actor. A lot of people grew up watching him in those um, as this character of the man with no name. Um, and I, I love the story arc is really, really flawless between all three films. Uh, I can't, but I can't emphasize this enough. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly is the third film in the franchise. There were two more before it, and it's called A Fistful. If you've ever watched them, get on it. A Fistful of Dollars, and for a few dollars more, there are two incredible films. Truthfully, I love, 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 love this trilogy. And because uh, I've never repeated myself three times now, but I gotta emphasize it. It's a trilogy of films, and you have to watch the other two to understand the third one even more. The third one's great. But you got to watch it for your own merit. So, um, but why should you watch the Good, the Man with No Name trilogy? Well, to be honest, it is one of the greatest westerns of all time. All three are great westerns, spaghetti westerns, filmed in Italy on location, whatever. It's supposed to be in the Midwest, but it's filmed in Italy because back then, like, there was just desert, and you could just film stuff out there. It was crazy because they filmed them in Italy. So, regardless, though, um, they are a little bloody. There is not nudity. There's like a little bit of language here and there. Uh, they are rated R for the time being. I would keep that as a hard R rating. Not hard R, but just still an R rating for today's standards. Um, but I love them. They are just phenomenal films. Definitely check out the Man With No Name trilogy. 
Uh, and plug for our movie commentary of the good, the bad, and the ugly. We did a couple years ago, truthfully. Um, we might do, who knows, we might do the two other movies as well just to complete it, round out that trilogy of films. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But that's why I think you should watch the Man With No Name trilogy. It's some of the best Western, highly regarded, some of the greatest spaghetti Westerns of all time. They have stood the test of time. They are fantastic movies. I love, 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 love this trilogy. It's just an all-around great set of films. I love it to death. But uh, So yeah, that's why I think you guys should watch the Man With No Name trilogy. But like this video, hit the bell, whatever you gotta do, subscribe to us as well. But for all of you, why you should watch videos, keep locked on the Superview Show, the J-Man. It's off to walk. And we'll see you guys later.